Hi folks, Mr. Tesalonian back here again. I'm working on the large four foot in diameter Wimsers electrostatic generator project. And what you see in front of you here is our mount towers and our drivetrain. It's very simple to build, uh, all made out of two by fours, something that you can get at home. This system is gonna produce a lot of power. We should be able to get probably 10 inch arcs, I would assume, out of this, uh, giving us upwards of 10,000 volts or more, depending on our capacitor sizes. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and take a uh, rod across the two tops and that's actually going to be where the uh, two discs actually spin from is right there on the top of these two towers uh, from right here you can actually see I've already got the lines marked to mount that up there uh, so and then it comes down here to one 10 inch pulley down here these are aluminum pulleys from swamp coolers you can find at any hardware store I got another pulley still to put on there I just got this all done I'm kind of making uh, sure that it's all spinning right everything looks pretty free and even uh, what we've got here now is a one inch pulley on the end is our drive pulley to the lower shaft and these two will actually spin our disc will have one belt looped opposite and one belt running uh, normal and that'll give us a dual directional spin on our disc now that runs up here from a one inch to a 14 inch in diameter aluminum pulley and just the ratio between that one inch and the 14 is about eight and a half to one uh, so you're basically able to get uh, for every one turn I turn here, I get eight and a half turns here. Now with the 10 inch pulley going up to a one inch off of our uh, Wimsers disc, we should be able to add another four to one off of that or so and bump us up over the 10 to one ratio, which will give us, you know, if I was turning this hand crank one cycle per second, uh, that would give us uh, uh, 600 rotations per minute uh, on our lower drive or on our upper disc here. So let me go ahead and just walk you around here. These are all just pillow bushings here. You've got little grease certs at the top that you can put oil inside of them. Uh, the hand crank itself, I have designed loose like this because the inertia when you spin it will actually drop that handle just like you saw immediately back this way instead of grabbing your arm. This thing doesn't have a free wheel, which if you're gonna build something this big, uh, I just suggest putting a free wheel design in there. And you can see here, if I stop that, watch that lower pulley down there. I can get that thing just cruising still now I can make it go backwards at least in your visual uh, spectrum there so there you go very fast RPMs just out of a simple hand crank turn here all right so I thought I'd show you that we don't have much left to do to the drivetrain other than to box it all in and cover uh, a portion of this with a dielectric material I'm going to go ahead and cover most of the face here with a dielectric uh, and even probably a dielectric cap over this just at the very center top ridge where the belts won't hit it. And that'll help keep some kind of barrier between our disc and any metallic object in here. Uh, you can see here the lines are, that's actually the lower center point of the disc. We'll come down to about right there. So we got a little bit of protection we got to put against that face. I doubt we'll lose much, but if we don't cover it, it will be a loss in our system. So let me go ahead and finish the rest of this. I'll show you what it looks like when we get the top system all put across, and we'll start working on our Wimshurst discs, and I'll show you from there. 